2023 was one of the craziest years in cubing history. There were 53 world records, over 2,000 competitions, almost double any other year, the world championship, which was wild for many different reasons, and there was this kid who got pretty fast. So usually I pick out what I think were the top five moments of the year, but so much happened in 2023 that I'm just gonna recap every event. By the way, you can find the full videos of all clips used here in the description. So starting with Big Blind, Multiblind was one of just two events to not have a world record this year. Unfortunately, one of the highlights of the year was at World Championships when a lot of strange things were happening that affected the results of many top solvers. However, in December, Roe Hester came through with a result of 56 out of 60, which is second in the world and the best result of the year. Graham Siggins is still well ahead though with the top 6 results in the world. 5x5 blindfolded was a lot crazier however. Stanley Chappell's 3 year long record was broken by Hill Pong with a single of 2 minutes 19.07. And just a week later Stanley responded with a solve 4 hundredths of a second slower which was unbelievable. Then at the world championships Hill Pong slightly improved the record to become world champion. But soon after, Stanley finally took the record back with a solve of 2 minutes 10 seconds. But that was not enough for him, as a month later, he gets a 2.06, and just minutes later, he improves it again with a 2.04. This is where the record stands now, and the 2 minute barrier is looking to fall down very soon. In 4x4 blindfolded, Stanley destroyed his own record of 57 with an insane 51.96. This was the only 4 blind record this year, but arguably the most impressive record of the whole year. Other than that, Hillpom was close to being the second person to get a sub minute with an Asian record single of 1 minute 1 second. There are some good results from a few other people, but for now, this is Stanley's event. Onto the 5 side puzzles, starting with square 1. Not quite as eventful as last year, but we still saw 4 incredible world records. Early in the year, Michał Kurzowski destroyed the world record single with a 3.87, the first sub 4 in history. But then Ryan Pilot, who has never even got sub 5 before, took the record with a 3.73 single. Then Max Zhao improved his world record average to 4.91, breaking the sub 5 barrier for the first time, to which even he couldn't believe. And then he also took back the world record single with a 3.69 to which he still couldn't believe. So yeah, just like last year, Max finishes the year with both world records under his belt. However, people like Samir, Hassan and David have been getting quite close. So let's see if anyone can catch up in 2024. Skube saw one of the craziest records of the year when Cardo Kukala got a 1.53 world record average, beating Zane Kanani, who prior to this had the top 10 averages in the world. Despite that being the only record, this was a big year for Skube. At the end of 2022, only Zane and Carter had a sub 2 average, but this year 4 more people have broken that barrier, and many others have gone close. I think a lot more people are sub 2 at home, so Skube will be very interesting in 2024. Onto Pyraminx and oh god. I could have made a 10 minute video on Pyraminx alone. This event went crazy in 2023. So firstly in January, Elijah Brown destroyed the world record single with a 0.75. This was absolutely insane and many people thought it would stand for years. However, in December, Simon Callum beat it with a 0.73 with ridiculous turning. The first and last world records of 2023 were Pyramid single. How beautiful is that? In terms of world record average, Michael Nielsen struck first with an average of 1.64. But soon after that, the rivalry between Ezra Shear and Jasper Murray took off. These two racing for the world record has been one of the most entertaining cubing battles in the last few years. Even at home, they are constantly trading unofficial world records. In April, they were tied second in the world with 1.66 averages, until Ezra broke through with a 1.55 world record average. But two months later, they were level again with Jasper's 1.55 tied world record average. Others like Daniel Partridge and Elias EU were getting close, but then Ezra Shear improves the record to 1.51. Soon after that, Jasper gets a 1.52 oceanic record average, 0.01 off world record. But then in his very next round, he gets a 1.47 average, which is also OCR because that was three months later. And during that time, Ezra got a 1.45 average. And this is the current world record. But the story doesn't end there because Ling Kong Jang then got a 1.46 Asian record average, which is 0.01 off world record. This particular record is quite scary. I mean, the turning speaks for itself. Pyramix has been such an exciting event, so hopefully it doesn't become another event finished by an Asian kid within a few weeks. We just have to wait and see. Before 2023, Leandro Martin Lopez already proved he's the best in the world at Mega Minx, and this year he continued to dominate the event. Four world record singles and four world record averages in one year is incredible, and I think he still averages faster at home. However, Tristan Chua Young has also been showing up. He briefly took the world record average in April, and he also came first at Worlds. And recently, him and Ziyu Wu actually got very close to the world record average, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens there. 
2023 was a massive year for Clock. Firstly, we saw possibly the most insane average in Clock history when Cham got three two second solves in one average, the fastest being a 2.77 world record single. But then began the rise of the seven simul method. The first record using the method was when Tommy Cherry took the world record single with a 2.61. And just weeks later, Nicholas gets a 3.54 world record average using the method. But then at US Nationals, Tommy claimed the record with a 3.50 average. It was very nearly broken again at UK Champs, with Nicholas getting 0.02 seconds away and Anders Cube dropping out of record. With several other contenders for world record and the new rule where you can change pins during inspection, you can't help but expect another crazy year for clock. And it's already started. Good job, Neil. Onto the 3x3 variants, starting with 100, we saw Patrick Pons tie his own world record average of 8.65 at US Nats. But then 9-time world record holder Max Park made a 10 when he got an 8.62 average, just about beating Patrick. These two have been sharing the stage in 100 ever since lockdown, so it'll be interesting to see if someone else like Dwayne or Fami can break through in 2024. In FMC, the three-year-long wait for a world record ended when Kale Shun tied his own record mean of 21 flats. And then Jaden McNeil finally got his highly anticipated record when he got his own mean of 21 flats. He then got another one less than two months later, creating a quadruple tie of the world record. But this didn't last long because soon after that, Wang Chang Wen got a world record mean of 20 flats. Dropping the record mean by a full move is incredible, but this is still likely to be broken in 2024 as there are a lot of people who are getting insane at this event. It was also a crazy year for 3x3 blindfolded. At the end of 2022, Tommy Cherry got a 12.97, which people thought would stay unbeaten for ages. But in January, he improved it to an insane 12.78 world record single. Then in April, Elliot Kobolanski took the world record mean with a 15.05. This was an incredible achievement, but it didn't take long for Tommy to reclaim the record with a mean of 14.72. And then at World Championship Finals, he improved it to 14.15. Like, how have you done that at the World Finals? That's insane. But it doesn't stop there because then came one of the greatest moments of the year when Charlie Eggins destroyed the world record single with a time of 12.10. This was his first world record and was highly anticipated, so the community just celebrated like crazy. 3 Blind has been such an entertaining event and I'm sure it'll be just as exciting in 2024. Finally, moving on to the end by end, starting with 7x7, this was the other event alongside Multi Blind to not have a world record in 2023. We still saw some insane times though. Sunhook Nam became the second person to get a sub 150 mean with a 149 Asian record. Timon Kolodzinski also getting close to that barrier with a 151 European record mean. However, Max Park is still way in front, so it'll take something very special to overtake him. And unsurprisingly, you can say the same thing for 6x6. The only record of the year came a world championship when Max got a mean of 1 minute 7 seconds. No other person has even got a single solve under that time until September when Timon got an insane double European record of a 104 single and 110 mean. Max losing his record in 2024 sounds ridiculous, but we've seen crazier things happen. In 5x5, in terms of world records, Max Park absolutely dominated. In the first half of the year, he got a 37 flat average, beating his previous record by over a second. Soon after that, he improved it by a further half a second to 36.46. But then he got one of the highlights of the year when at the finals of US Nats, he broke the world record single with a 32.88 in front of hundreds of people watching live. But he wasn't done there because in December, he got a 35.94 world record average with the fourth solve being 32.60 world record single. Apart from Leandro constantly popping off in Mega Wings, this was the only other double world record of the year. But despite all these records, 5x5 is probably the event that Max Park is in threat the most. Sion Nam and Timon have been getting quite close to his records, especially the world record single. Will we finally see Max dethroned in 2024? Probably not, but you never know. Moving on to the rest of the ambience, in 4x4 early in the year we saw Max get a 19.38 average, improving the world record by half a second. This was the only world record of the year, but we also saw 18-time world record holder Sebastian Weyer get some crazy European records. Firstly, a 17.13 single, less than half a second away from Max, and then he became the second person to get sub-21 average with 20.85. Max is still leading the field by a good margin, but again, you never know what will happen. It was an insane year for 2x2, though we are still yet to see the sub-1 average. Zayn Kanani got close in January with a 1.01 world record average. And then came possibly the most unfortunate moment of the year, when in June, he plus 2 out of a 0.97 average. He got really close many other times, so hopefully the barrier is broken in 2024. But then, in November, the inevitable happened when Poland got a 4-mover. A 0.43 world record single by 7-year-old Theodor Zyder makes him the youngest world record holder in cubing history. And turns out that wasn't just luck, because in 
that round he got a 110 average. This just about missed European record which is 1.09 by Anthony Paderakis which he got in August. This average was second in the world for a while until Yi Heng Long overtook it with a 1.08 Asian record average. Yi Heng seems to be taking 2 by 2 very seriously which is scary to say the least. He along with the others we just mentioned, also others like Phoenix, Yoav and Nigel are all very strong contenders for that sub 1 average in 2024. And finally we have 3 by 3 and before we get on to you know. First, let's talk about some insane achievements that other people got. There's now 7 people in the sub 4 gang. The 3 who joined in 2023 were Jody Brewster with his 3.88 oceanic record, Yi Heng Wang with a personal record of 3.83, and Luke Garrett with a 3.44, which is the second fastest solve in history. Luke also got a top 5 average of 5.03. Roy Han Zhu got a 5.01 average, which is 4th in the world. Also, Timon got his second sub 5 average of 4.96. Okay, let's get on to the world records. In November of 2018, Yu Shan Du shocked the world when he got a 3.47 world record single, breaking the record by almost a second. This record would stand for 4 years and 6 months, until finally, on June 11, 2023, Max Park came through. Yes! Max destroys the record with a 3.13 world record single. The video of the solve went worldwide. It made the news, it reached a bunch of celebrities. What record did he just break this week? The Rubik's Cube world record. Oh, yeah. yeah, Rubik's Cube 3.13. So shout out to Max. Everybody make some noise for Max tonight. It went everywhere. And I think it's really increased the popularity of cubing, as Max has already been doing over the years. However, if you go a bit more east, you'll find that they mostly got their cubing interests from another source by the name of Yi Heng Wang. Just your average nine-year-old kid goes to school, has hobbies, and is by far the fastest Rubik's Cube solver in the history of humankind. When Yi Heng was basically robbed out of world record average because of a misscramble in February, everyone expected him to get the record eventually, but few people knew just how dominant he would be in 2023. In his very next comp after the misscramble, he got his first world record with a 4.69 average, beating the previous record of 4.86. Yi Heng then started getting low 5 averages consistently, proving that he is undisputedly the best in the world. Despite this, Yi Heng was still able to shock the world on the 20th of June. In the finals of a Singapore comp, Yi Heng started with two 4.72s and a 3.99. All he needed to improve his world record was a 4.61. But Yi Heng said, nah, I don't feel like getting a 4. Yi Heng destroys the record with a 4.48 world record average, with the first counting sub 4 in 3x3 history. This is where the record stands today and it's going to take something very special to beat it. Yi Heng would then go on to get 15 more sub 5 averages and a total of 9 sub 4 singles. And by the end of the year, he has the top 9 averages in the world ever. We haven't seen a single person this dominant in 3x3 since Felix Zemdegs when he was at his peak. However, in crazy fashion, he actually came second at the World Championship final by 0.01 behind none other than Max Park. People like Max and Timon are definitely capable of getting a few great solves in a row and taking the world record average. However, for now, Yi Heng remains as the only sub 5 cuber on the planet. He is so far ahead of everyone else and in 2024, I personally don't think anyone would come close to Wadi Globals, but I would love to be proven wrong. So that is my recap of the 2023 Cuban year. Sorry it came out quite late, like most of my videos this took a bit longer to make than expected, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. If you want to support me, you can use my code, code SCOOCH at Speedcube Shop for a discount on any of the thousands of Cuban products they have. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next year's recap, which hopefully comes out a lot sooner than this one. <sighs> I knew making this video late would backfire.